186 November, thank you. Altimeter is 3026. You're clear to the Class Bravo airspace. Uh, copy, Altimeter clear to Class Bravo. And we have a request for you if, you're, if possible. 186 November, uh, sounds good. And um, you said you're climbing to 55, is that right? Remember, uh, Zero Golf Yankee, you can resume your own navigation to pick up I-10 eastbound out of 2000. So we're back with this guy, Miles, unfortunately. So we're back with this guy, Miles. We're here. We're, we're ready to go. Are we? <laughs> we got 80991 done with pre-flight. We're topped off with gas. And I'm kind of, it's actually, it's pretty windy today. Uh, we've got a, a stiff wind out of the Southwest, but it's clear skies and it's gonna be uh, extremely bumpy and <laughs> uncomfortable up there. But that is a perfect day to go fill our stomachs up with seafood. You puke in the airplane, I swear to God. Uh, I'm a chain puker. If I see or hear somebody puke or God forbid, smell it. I'm sorry. That's, that's grounds for an emergency. <laughs> I'm declaring an emergency. <laughs> We're gonna go up to Lano and grab some barbecue, but I, we went there at the beginning of the High West trip. I've been yeah. there a bunch. I don't want to say I'm barbecued out because that would be very anti-Texan. Um, that's not American. I'm in the mood for seafood. Let's put it that way. I haven't been to Lake Jackson in like two years. I haven't wow. flown to that airport in a long time. Um, last time I was there was in this plane. Um, with the old engine, the panel looked vastly different back then, all that kind of stuff. I'm kind of in between trips right now. I got back from Florida at the beginning, or like mid-December, finished editing all of that footage, did the year in review. Uh, that got a lot of positive feedback. I was really happy about that. Um, and now I'm just, I'm going on a really big trip that's not necessarily aviation related in three weeks, basically going to the other side of the earth. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of wigging out for like preparing for it and all this kind of stuff. But every now and then you just got to get up and go take a relaxing flight. Grab a buddy. Get some food. And, sorry, I wrinkled your shirt there. Grab a buddy, go grab some food. It's, it's a place that I haven't been to in a long time too. So a day with good weather, a good airplane. Actually, sorry, the best airplane. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna saddle up the airplane, pull it out, pointer into the wind, pour the coals to it, and I'm trying to think of any other sayings that I could use. Kick, kick the fires and light the tires, and go grab some seafood. It's gonna be a good day. Not, not throw up. Throw up. All right, run up, brakes are set, fuel, uh, both. We're on both. A trim set for takeoff. It's set for takeoff. Bike controls. Brake correct. Up, down, up, down, elevators. Up and down, rudder, left and right. Uh, instrument. Cross checked and calibrated. Everything looks like it agrees, and the compass looks like it agrees with the HSI. All right, mixture, best power. Mixture set four inch. Uh, primer in unlocked. Primer's in unlocked. 1700 RPM. I'm gonna close my window. And throttle up to 1700. Then mag check. Left mag, right mag out, rise in four, back to both. Right mag, left mag out, rise in four, back to both. Alright, uh, car beat test. Car beat, we see the carburetor temp rise, get a drop, back in. Alright, uh, idle check closed and throttle friction. Up to 1,000 throttle friction lock set as desired. All right, run up checklist complete. Cool. Ground 80991, holding short 13 Juliet. System 9991, cross runway 13, taxi to runway 17. Cross 13 to 17, 9991. All right, pre takeoff checklist flap 0 to 10. Flap set 0. Mixture best power. Mixture will go forward itch. Car beat off. Car beats off. Transponder altitude. Door squawking altitude. Heading bug is set to runway heading. Doors and windows, I'm shut over here. I'm shut and latched on the windows as well. Shut and latched over here. Uh, waiting light on. It's on. Strobes as required. We'll get the strobes on, we'll get clear for takeoff. Time note, brake release, and work plan ready. All right, 1930 Zulu is when we're sitting at the foot of the runway. If anything happens before we're off the ground, we're gonna chop the power, get on the brakes, and abort the takeoff. Anything happens between rotation and 1,000 feet AGL, we're nosing over, picking something plus or minus 30 degrees in front of us. Anything above 1,000 AGL, at that point will already be turned out to the north, and we can entertain the thought of turning back to the airport or whatnot. All right. Any questions? No questions. All right. So we'll just be mentally prepared for an engine failure if it happens. San Marcos Tower, Skyhawk 80991, holding short of runway 17, Juliet, ready for VFR departure. San Marcos Tower, 12301, San Marcos Tower, 12301, runway 17, clear for takeoff. Runway 17, clear for takeoff, 80991. All right, takeoff power is set. Engine monitor looks happy. Give it a little bit of back pressure. There's 60 knots, and we're gonna kind of force it off the ground so we don't go skittering sideways. Look at that crap. <laughs> 
500 feet AGL. Ooh, let's lift that left wing up and make a little left turn out. Austin approach, Skyhawk 80991 VFR request. Skyhawk 80991, Austin approach. 80991, Cessna 172 just departed San Marcos, climbing through 4000 up to 55 VFR out to Lima Bravo X ray. Like flight following if you got time. Hang on. Cinch your seatbelt, boy. Squawk 991, Squawk 4514. 4514 on the Squawk 80991. Skyhawk 991, radar contact to west of Lockhart, Austin altimeter 3024. 3024 position checks, 991. Pilatus 12 Juliet, contact approach 125.32. Pilatus. 2532, That's pretty fancy. Let's do a climb checklist real quick before we get to cruise. Alright, climb checklist, uh, airspeed. We're doing 78 knots, BY. Alright, power. Power set full. Mixture. Full rich. Instruments. Cross checked and calibrated, everything looks like it agrees. Taxi landing light off. Look at the landing light off. Flight plan open. We were talking to ATC. Alright, climb checklist complete. Sweet. That airport right down there is where I got my tailwheel endorsement. Where you learn to become a real pilot. That's where I learned that I don't know how to fly an airplane. <laughs> Good old Lockhart. That is the barbecue capital of Texas, right there. Like clockwork. Like clockwork, man. All right, cruise checklist. All right, cruise checklist. Power. Power is set. Mixture. Mixture is set. Instruments. Cross-checked and calibrated. All right, cruise checklist complete. Sweet. Cessna 991, contact Houston approach 124.22. 24.22809 Houston approach Skyhawk 80991, 5500. Skyhawk 80991, Houston approach Tel Station Altimeter 3023, what's your destination? 30223, we're going to Lake Jackson, Lima, Bravo, X ray. Roger. 99901, the center maintain VFR5000. VFR at 5,80991. That's odd. ATC instruction. Right, let's start looking for the airport here. Your Tango Echo traffic, 1 o'clock and 2 miles eastbound, 2,000 feet of the Cherokee. Sound Falcon 21 Juliet, descend to maintain 2,000. 2,000, 200 Juliet, fills the site. You very much. Who else was calling unanswered? Mooney, 231 Delta Hotel is 8 to the northeast of Executive, like for business flight following uh, 8,500 to Austin Executive, Echo Delta County. Houston approach Skyhawk 80991 has Lake Jackson in sight, we got the weather. Last calling unanswered, say again. Last calling, I'm so sorry, I was talking to Sugarland Tower there, who was that? <laughs> 80991 has Lake Jackson in sight, we got the weather. Number uh, 9991, roger, contact approach on 134.45, good day. 3445, 991. Houston approach, Skyhawk 80, 991, 5000 VFR, we have Lake Jackson in sight with the weather. Hey, 991, roger, uh, service to the terminus, squawk and maintain VFR, stay in the bottom, thank you, sir. Squawk and talk VFR, 991, good. Gulf Coast Regional Traffic, Skyhawk 80, 991, we're assessed on 172, about 15 miles to the northeast of the field. We're going to be a full stop runway 17, Gulf Coast Regional. I could just say Lake Jackson traffic, but I'm a big proponent of always just saying the name of the airport on the section. Because somebody unfamiliar, they have no clue that this is Lake Jackson. Yeah. Because the, the name of the airport is Texas Gulf Coast Regional. That happened to me at a uh, airport in uh, Kentucky. I was like, it was like this weird name. And I'm like, you know, looking at the chart, like trying to read it off how it's yeah. written. And then someone's like, uh, you mean whatever the town was. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know. This is where I'm going. This, right. This is how it's labeled. Well, it's like people going into Fredericksburg. They say Fredericksburg traffic sometimes. I always say Gillespie County because that's the name of the airport. Yeah. It's, I mean, that's technically what you should do. Right. Yeah, I've, I've run into that a few times. Like in Alaska, we were going into Quartz Creek, uh -huh. which is the name of the airport in the sectional. But there's a little like settlement just to the south of it on Kenai Lake called Cooper Landing. Uh -huh. And people are using like Cooper Landing. Play with traffic. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's confusing. Uh, I'm unfamiliar. Okay. Alright, let's do the descent checklist. Alright, descent checklist. Uh, mixture, Richard. 
I'm enriching it just a little bit. Fuel on both. Fuel selectors on both. RP dash required. Don't need it. Uh, A to say was. We got it. Altimeter. Are set. Instruments. Cross checked and calibrated. All right. Set checklist complete. Complete. Yeah, definitely got the airport in sight. Texas Gulf Coast Regional Airport. Wind. Automated weather observation. Two zero three five foot. Zulu. Wind two zero zero at one two. Visibility. Same. What'd you say? Uh, when you're in a nose down attitude, do these just fluctuate with, um, with they, the way the uh, nose down? The amount they read way low. Uh huh. Yeah. So when you pitch the nose down, it reads less fuel than is really in there. Opposite for nose up. Right. And then when you're on the ground, it reads way more fuel because the airplane's sitting nose up. Right. Especially if the nose strut has a little extra pressure in it. Gulf Coast Regional Traffic Skyhawk 80991, Cessna 172, about three, sorry, six miles to the northwest of the field. We're going to enter a right base runway. A 17 will be a full stop. Texas Gulf Coast Regional. Yeah. Uh, almost said LBX traffic. <laughs> Gulf Coast, one stop, Mike, taking off runway 17. We're going to be departing the air to the east. Texas Gulf Coast. All right, let's do the pre landing. Okay, pre landing brakes pedal test. Good pressure. Landing light on. Landing lights on. Autopilot off. It's off. Deep belt harnesses. I'm strapped in. I'm strapped in. Make sure best power. Make sure we're going to go full rich. We're below 3,000 feet. All right. Car beat on. Car repeat. Let's go ahead and get it on. Uh, fuel on both. Fuel's on both. And flaps is required. Don't need flaps quite yet. All right. Pre landing checklist complete. Complete. Texas Gulf Coast traffic. Skyhawk 80991. Lining off on about a two mile final runway. 17 will be a full stop. Texas Gulf Coast traffic. Start that turn. Houston Southwest traffic, Skyhawk 9 or Alpha entering a down, left downwind runway 27. We're high, I like it that way. Altitude, Josh. Altitude. Altitude. Oh, that was pretty good, that actually sounded really realistic. <laughs> I was about to say. 500. Do you, you uh, work for Garmin there? Got a good crab coming in here. Southwest traffic, we're going to for Mike, is three miles to the north. West of the airport, we cross the midfield. No need for more flaps. For a left down, one, two, seven. Runway's made, power to idle. Go ahead and put her into the slip, left rudder. Hold it off. That'll work. I'll take it. There's the nose. And we're easing onto the brakes. Texas Gulf Coast traffic, Skyhawk 80991, clear the runway, Texas Gulf Coast. We have made it to Lake Jackson. I'm having deja vu. I know, right? You are here like 12 <laughs> hours ago. Um, I haven't been here in a while. It's it's been quite a while since I've come to this airport, um, and uh, and we're gonna grab some seafood here. Got the plane just kind of nestled up against the fence here, and uh, we're just gonna walk right into the cafe. It's gonna be awesome, and uh, it's a it's a it's a cool airport. LBX Lima Bravo X Ray. We're gonna run in and grab some food. And it's also just crazy flying being able to fly this low in such a sparse area and it's rare that you get to do it right because like normally flying this low is just like a it's super frowned upon and b there's no like safe option to bail out this was a quick uneventful non-stressful flight and that's kind of nice the end of 2019 and now the beginning of 2020 are incredibly stressful for me already with all the projects that are coming together and it was nice to just grab a friend and go get food by way of the sky i like to take flights like these and even make a video of them as a reminder to myself that you got to slow down and go back to basics every now and then taking a simple vfr cross country for food is a good way to get up in the sky and have some fun in the next video we'll depart lake jackson and head south toward the beach and fly low level down to matagorda bay before cutting inland and heading back to San Marcos. That was a pretty awesome ending to the day, but it's also important to be acquainted with certain rules and regs if you're going to do this, and we'll talk about all of that in the next video. If you'd like to support the channel, you can head over to aviation101.com store and shop merch and gear, and you can gain access to exclusive content like full-length videos at aviation101.com slash cockpit club. Until next time, I want you to go out and just take a fun flight with a friend. I want you to stay happy, stay healthy, stay current, and most importantly, stay proficient, and we'll see you in the next video. Fly safe.